So it's 2024 and you finally decided that you want to start working on something else that's not going to entail going to the same office building every single day until you're 70 and then you can live for a couple of years and then die in a hospital. Look, I get it. So if you're wanting to find a way that you can make money from your laptop anywhere in the world and you're willing to spend a couple of years working hard to achieve that, then you've come to the right place. Now, I'm sure you've seen the rapid growth of Amazon here in Australia over the last couple of years, and it's only gonna continue to skyrocket as more and more people learn that they can buy on there, and that more and more fulfillment centers open up around the country, and it's the perfect opportunity for you Australians here living in the country to start selling on the platform Get the good real estate so as more and more buyers come in, you're already there with your product, ready to exchange it for their money. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to open up your own Seller Central account on Amazon Australia for here in 2024. I'm making this video because I know it is tricky. This is something I had to learn through my first Amazon course that I bought and I know that it can be a little bit different for each person and that seller support can be a little bit hit and miss with helping you out with it. So once you've gone through this video, you've done it once, you'll realize that it's much easier after you've been shown and you'll have no dramas moving forward with anything on this side. After you've watched this video and only after, if you want some more help or you want to know the next step, down in the description, I have a course that is completely free from A to Z that's going to give you every single step you need to launch on Amazon Australia this year. And it has the skills necessary to scale all the way up to six figures. There's no catch for enrolling. My main source of income is e-commerce, not selling courses. So I want to be able to give back and help like I was helped when I was first starting and be able to lend a hand to as many Aussies as possible to help them go on this progress of change and to chase that life that they want to achieve. If you don't want to do it, I'm not your dad. All right, don't do it. But let's get straight into it here. So to get started, all you have to do is search here on Google, sell on Amazon Australia. Now we want to be careful. We never want to click on sponsored ads, which I'm sure anyone under 30 watching this already knows that, that a lot of the time they're scams. But we want to come down here and look for the one that is HTPS and it's sell.amazon.com. And then we want to make sure we have the .au. Sometimes it'll come up with the American one, but for now we just want the .au. So we're going to click on that. And it's going to bring us through to this page where you can read a bit more information if you want. But otherwise, we're just going to hit sign up here and go into the process. So it's going to bring you through to here. Now, this is the start of where you're going to have to start filling out some details. Okay, and as we go through, you'll see there's a couple different resources you're going to need, which we'll touch on as we get to them. But just for now, you're creating uh, your account with your name, your email, and then just popping in a password. Make sure it's a secure password because, you know, as your account grows, you're making more and more money. You want to be able to protect it and not have it hacked and your entire business stolen. So we're gonna fill this out here and then we're gonna click next and move on to the next page. And then it brings us through to this next screen where it just gives you a little bit of information on what you're gonna need next. Okay, so it's talking about they're gonna need a way to identify and verify your identity. Okay, because unfortunately there's a lot of people who come through with bots and just try to create a heap of accounts to spam reviews and do stuff that's not within their terms of service. So you're gonna need your either a driver's license, uh, a form of ID or your passport that you're gonna have to take photos of or just use, I use the Scannable app, it's free on your phone, scan it, upload it, it goes straight in. You're then gonna need a recent bank account or a credit card statement that just matches the details on that form of ID. So they're wanting to make sure they're the same. And then of course, once we create our account, it's gonna cost, they charge us the amount to run the account. Okay, so you have the option of going the individual account or the professional account. And my opinion, just from the start, you just wanna go with a professional account, okay? Because it has more features and you're here to learn, okay? We know you're not gonna be the absolute best from the start, but we wanna learn as quick as possible so you can get to that level, okay? The individual account has very limited resources. I know it is a bit cheaper, but we just wanna go in with the professional. And once you start selling, I think it's $49.95 a month Australian. That's gonna be pennies for you. We're gonna be focusing on building the business. And I believe that if you have the account and you get charged a couple of months uh, where you're not actually selling, later on you can actually claim that back from Amazon. So don't stress too much about that, okay? So that's why they want your chargeable credit or debit card in there so they can charge your account 
so we can start using the features. And then of course, just a mobile phone number as that second form of verification. So we're gonna come here, we're gonna select uh, Australia as our business country and we're gonna hit begin. And so now our first one, we've got Australia as our location and we're gonna select our business type. Now, for some of you, you're only gonna have an ABN or not even an ABN, and we're just gonna be acting as an individual, okay? You haven't set up a PTY, I can't say it, a, pap a papayatry limited, um, which is a lot of the time what I recommend to people to go ahead with. Of course, it's not legal advice, you need to talk to your accountant and everyone's situation is different, but if you have any assets or you want some sort of protection between yourself and the business, it is a lot of the time what I go with, okay? It does have a fee, I think it's of around $500 to set it up, but again, remember we're starting a business, we're serious about this, we wanna work hard and create something that we can travel with for the rest of our life and that requires investments. So for now, if you don't have the company set up, you're just gonna go with the individual. You're gonna click that, and then you're gonna wanna fill out these details here, your first name, your last name, and confirm that your location and stuff is correct. And then we wanna agree and continue and move forward. And it's then gonna bring us through to this screen, which is the verification process. Okay, so we wanna fill out a lot of these details. Some of these are gonna have to be blurred uh, for me as we go through. They want stuff like your country of citizenship. Now, of course, this guide is just for those who are citizens of Australia, okay? If you are someone who is outside of Australia or maybe you're here on a visa, I have a separate video for that that you'll be able to find on my channel, but this one just here for today is just for those residents of Australia. Now we're gonna come down, so you wanna fill out country of birth, date of birth, nice and easy, your residential address, and then they'll send through a pin that's just to your phone, you type it in and you have your phone, and then just make sure, oh no, that's fine. We can keep that as United States. You send it, verify it, and then we're gonna hit next. This is all pretty easy stuff here. Now I did get a little bit ahead of myself because I thought I could read each one out without putting in any of my details so I wouldn't have to blur as much when it comes to editing. But once you select your country of citizenship and your country of birth, it's gonna bring up here some details for you to fill out. So you're gonna select what type of identification you wanna use, either your driver's license or your passport. You'll select it and then it's going to ask you to fill in those couple of details, like your number, maybe that scannable photo, depending on which one you go with, and this is where you're gonna upload those. So if you need, pause the video, go ahead and do these steps, and then we're gonna hit next, and we're gonna move through to the next stage. So this next page here is just the billing page. So you're just gonna pop in your card, details, your name, etc. Click next and then once it's gone through and they've verified your identity, the account gets created, then they're gonna bill your, bill your card and then you're able to start using the features inside Seller Central and keep using it moving forward. Now this is gonna bring us through to a store page where it's gonna want us to fill out some details if we had a trademark or we already had some products that we were selling elsewhere that we then wanted to sell here on Amazon, okay? So it's got some questions down here, like do you have a universal product code? That's if you have a barcode for any products you already sell. For most of you who are just here being beginners, you're not gonna have any of this, okay? So we're just gonna hit no. Do we have a brand? You'll only have a brand if you're already selling something and you have a trademark registered. So if that's not the case, I would just hit no, because as we go forward, and it's a bit more advanced, but as you create products in the future, which I'll teach you how to do, you're then gonna create a brand, get a trademark, and you're gonna add that in later. Okay, now back up at the top here is store name. This is what we want customers to see when it says sold by. Okay, now personally, whenever I set up a company, like I mentioned before, I'll create it as my, my surname and then something like exporting, right? So white exporting or white and co, something like that, so that it's kind of generic. It doesn't sound like, you know, or oh, we specifically sell kitchen goods or we specifically sell baby goods. So if I want to change what direction I go in later on, the name still fits, okay? So that's what I'd suggest for you to put here. Just fill in. So for example, I'm going to put white importing. Don't know why it went capitals for some and not for others. It says it's available and that's what I'm going to have there, okay? So just do it for your version. Click no and no if you don't have a trademark or products already and then we're gonna hit next. Now we're almost at the end. Now this is just where it wants you to upload those photos of either your license or your passport, whichever one you chose. 
and then your uh, your bank account statement or your debit card statement as well. Okay, so it's just to prove that the address listed on your license or listed on your passport matches the one on your bank account so they can prove that you are who you are. Okay, so once you've uploaded those different ones here, we're just gonna hit next and go through to the summary page. Again, if you can't take good enough photos on your phone or it doesn't allow that, I just use the scannable app and it just scans it like it would if you were using a printer and uploads it to your phone. You can just email it to yourself that way. And now it brings us through to this last, this verification page here where they ask that you either take a photo of your face just against like a white wall or whatever wall you've got or you jump on a video call with one of the workers there at Amazon and this is just kind of their last little thing. They've only brought it in over the last year to see that you are who you say you are and they can match it to that photo on your license or on your passport. So I generally just always take a photo of my face because it's quicker, snap a photo, upload it, send it through and then it gets verified, matches up. If there's an issue, they'll let you know via email and you just update any of the details and then you're able to move forward. So I'm not gonna click next here because then it's gonna actually send all this stuff off that I've put in. I've put in a heap of fake stuff in there. So I don't want it to go through, but you're gonna hit next. It's then gonna take you through to a summary page. You're just gonna say like, yes, I say that all of these details are correct and blah, 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 blah. And then you're gonna wait. Someone from Amazon is gonna go through the details on Amazon Australia, they are a lot faster at the moment than in the US, okay? Because the US is so much bigger, it can take like up to a week for them to get back to you. Whereas here on Amazon, it can be as quick as a couple of days to either say, yep, you're sweet, we're charging your card, you can start using it. Or they'll say, hey, this didn't quite match up. Can you please provide us an additional, uh, an additional document? Or you'll just give them, they'll ask to give you a call you go through some stuff and usually it's very easy to fix it up because the Australian support is really, really good. So there you go. You see, it's not as daunting as it first seemed. Once you're able to go through it once and then you go in, have a play with the Seller Central menu, there's so many different things in there and there's no way that you can break it so bad that it's irreversible. Okay, so go in, check it out. If you want some more information specifically, I want to have the playlist down below that goes through all my videos on YouTube on how to go from here, getting started to launching and selling your own product. Otherwise, I have a heap of free resources and the free course down below that you can go through, follow it and succeed, okay? Make 2024 the year that you decide to make some change. It's not gonna be easy, it's gonna be hard work, but remember it's some dedication that you are putting in now for future you to live well for the rest of your life, okay? So I believe in you, if you need help, message me on Instagram or on Discord. I'm always happy to help and I'll get back as quick as I can. But otherwise, I'm super, super proud of you for taking this step and for wanting something better. And remember, you're only one product away from living the life of your dreams. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day, Legends. Peace.